This segment is brought to you by Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, just a short drive down the yellow brick road. It's Wednesday again. I'm Frank. I'm still Deb. <laughs> and this is Around Kansas. So good morning. Thanks for joining us. Last Wednesday in June. Yes. It looks like I got the memo. She got the memo. I got the memo. That's <laughs> it's right. It's blue day. It's sky blue or turquoise blue or teal blue. Or yeah. Well, I guess it's not. It's close. It's so. close. It's well, close. and we need a little red and white, too, because can you believe it? The Fourth of July weekend is coming up. No, Ooh. no, I can't. Yeah. The year's half gone. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I just can't believe it. <laughs> just can't believe it. Well, when you're having fun and traveling around Kansas, time just goes away. Time just flies when you're having fun. It does. <laughs> and I get to go, um, you know, everywhere I go, people are like, man, I love following you on Facebook. I love seeing all the cool stuff you get to do. I love doing all the cool stuff I get to do, too. <laughs> I really do. I enjoy every minute of it. Uh, you know, the meeting different people all over the state. And I'm constantly, this was so funny. I had a conversation with my friend Carol Ann the other day. And Carol Ann grew up in Chicago. So she is a city girl. You know, born and bred, through and through, she is a city girl. Now, I grew up in the country, so I'm a country girl. I don't care where you plant me, I'm still a country girl. So... Now that I'm that Oakley is my my new hometown, you know, and I'm t coming back and telling Carol, I might as well be talking to her about Mongolia because the <laughs> life is so foreign to her. And she and I'm talking about all these people doing creative things and cool things. And she's like, and you would just think that people just sit out there and just like sit on their tractor and do nothing. And I'm like, that divide between the city mouse and the country mouse is just huge. <laughs> and I don't know why city people see country people as as dull or as not creative when they're just the most creative people in the world. Because you got to be. Living on a farm, you got to be creative. Yeah. Well, years ago when I was in the sales staff at Wren Radio, we had a media buyer in Atlanta that really believed that Matt Dillon and all of them were out there in Dodge City, and we'd say, yeah, Matt Dillon was at the Capitol here last week, and we went by and said hi. And, you know, it's like it was real to them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and it's just a, um, so I, but I love constantly meeting those creative people and seeing, you know, how people express their creativity. And, and yeah, and you might be what some people consider out in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, you've got all these wonderful resources and inspiration, and, and I love seeing what comes from that. You know, the art or the the crafts or, or just, uh, you know, the life that people make in the midst of that. It's wonderful. It's really wonderful. Yeah, but where you grew up, didn't you see Andy every day? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Talking to Andy Griffith, yep. of course. Sheriff. Yep. Every Sheriff day. Andy. Every day. And Barney was everywhere, <laughs> let me tell you. And Goober and Gomer. I called home one day, and my sister's passing around the phone. Hey, hey, Debbie. Yeah, and Gurney says hey, and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> it really. We actually do really have some, is Mayberry. some serious stories today, folks. Oh, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Darn, that always gets in the way of having fun, doesn't it? But we'll be back with some really great stories, serious or not, in just a minute. Stay with us. Buying a car shouldn't be this hard. And at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego, it isn't. It's actually awesome. Whether you want a new or used car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. Even if you want to custom order a new car or truck, Toby's team can make the deal. See Toby's team at Brown Chevrolet Buick in Wamego. We're awesome. 